are you beautiful people doing? It is I, the task at hand, and I'm back at it again. The long-awaited return, and look at this. A shitty game for a shitty story. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, yes, I had bed bugs, or I, I had have. Pretty sure it's had. That was a bullshit kill. I hate it. Um, I had bed bugs. Now, let's, uh, let's start at the start of this story. Uh, that sounded really weird to say. Start from the beginning. I had bed bugs, right? And how I knew I had bed bugs. This is not actually here. Hang on. Let's let's go from right right from the beginning. One night I was sleeping. I was knocked out, straight up, dead, not alive, straight sleeping. And in the middle of the night, I wake up, and for some reason, my feet itched like the most uh, that any part of my body has ever itched in my entire life. Now, when I tell you that, I mean that I I probably could have scratched my skin off. That's how much it, it, it was just it was just bad. For some reason, my feet were just itching like fucking all hell. It, it was it was ridiculous. I've never again, never. I've never itched like that ever. It was ridiculous. I was teabagging. Um, I, I've just that's never happened to me ever before in my life. And I've had poison ivy before. And um, well, yeah, I guess poison ivy is bad. But this one was just like worse. It was 100% worse, right? Seriously, not kidding. The, it's just, I, I didn't know what it was. I thought something was wrong with my feet, right? Like, that's what I thought at first. I was like, okay, I have I have some sort of foot disease. Maybe it's athlete's foot. I don't know. Like, it was fucking, it, it was gross. I was thinking, dude, something, I have something on my feet. What? What is What is this? I, I, I don't know. I was freaking the fuck out. The next day goes by, and I'm like, huh. I really wonder why my feet were itching, and um, and I was looking at them like after that night of scratching my feet like crazy. I was looking at them, and it it kind of looked a little swollen, like like in certain areas or, or the areas that I was itching, it was a little swollen. I'm like, all right, what the fuck, fuck was that? Like I I don't know why it, it looks like that. It was a little reddish, right? And I'm like, huh. I wonder what that could be. There can't, there's no mosquitoes. It couldn't be fucking mosquitoes. It's in the middle of winter. How the fuck is a mosquito going to be alive? Yeah, I want ham right here. I literally destroyed him. But yeah, like there was there was, there was was mosquitoes. I, I mean, or I at least thought there was mosquitoes, right? No, it wasn't mosquitoes. Look at my feet. And there was like certain parts. Uh, it, it, There were like multiple bumps that, you know, made it all itchy and shit. And I'm like, huh. Okay, so you know a couple days go by after that You know living normally shitting on kids left and right and cod going to work, whatever uh, You know I try to forget about it now as life goes on Right like a week probably in advance or as you keep going or like a couple days can't remember this specific time frame But I do know a couple days into the future. Uh, I randomly started seeing these bumps on other parts of my body so I'm like, okay, it's over. I got fucking herpes. I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm screwed. I got some fucking disease. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I'm scared. Where's the doctor? Uh, I was, I was, I was just, you know, I was wondering what the fuck are these? It's so weird. So then, um, if I can remember, oh yeah, I had like a bump on my leg and shit. And I'm like, huh, why the fuck? And, and it was, it was getting big, like and swollen. I'm like, dude. That's not, that couldn't be a mosquito bite. It itches worse, and it's, like, kind of bigger, you know? And it doesn't really look too much like a mosquito. Well, it looks like a mosquito bite, but there's, like, a certain difference, if you know what I mean. Like, when you get a mosquito bite, you know it's a mosquito bite because one obvious telltale sign, it itches. And also, that little piece of your, like, there's also, like, a little circle around where they bit because that part of the skin is kind of inflamed. This was different because it was huge like like it would it would spread to to a, a wide surface area like a bigger surface area than a mosquito bite would so i was like okay this is not a mosquito since it's winter and it definitely doesn't like feel and look like one so what the fuck could it be so i was talking to my friend uh you know 
I can't, again, the time frame kind of like uh, it was weird. That was a weird death. I don't know if you've seen that. My movement just fucked up. It was my first couple games on. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was doing good at the same time. But anyway, I was talking to my friend, and he was the first one to suggest that, oh, it's probably, it, it could be bed bugs. And I'm like, please, God, no, because they're stupid hard to get rid of, blah, blah, blah. Like, please don't let it be that. Like, anything but that. Please, God. I was hoping, hoping and praying that it wasn't that. So, uh, what's it called? And, like, he had experience with it. Like, he had to throw all his furniture out. Or he did that. That's how he solved it. And I was like, oh, God. If that, I like, I have a really nice bed. Like, it, it's a, th I was about to say thermal. It's a fucking Tempur-Pedic. Queen size. It's good. It's good. Like, I love it. It's amazing. And I'm like, bro, it cost me, it cost me some money. All right. I use some money for that shit. I'm not trying to get rid of it. Whether you fucking, you know, you mind. And sure, sure enough. I show him the bites, or, or I show him, like, the the scabs of the bites on my feet. And he was like, bro, that's bed bugs. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I was so fucking, like, I was mad and paranoid. Because I'm like, bro, there's bugs crawling on me. Like, that's disgusting. Think of that. Think of while you're sleeping, because that's what they do. They come out at night, and they bite and suck your fucking blood. And they just go back to wherever the fuck they came. Little ass insects just crawling on your sleeping body. Think of that. Think of that. It's terrifying. Not not even terrifying. It's disgusting. And that's what they do. You know, they hide. They can hide in the tiniest crevices, the tiniest cracks of your in your wall, the 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 under your your rug if you have or carpet if you have carpet flooring. They can hide inside the walls behind pictures. Anything that's clothing, they can go into that. Like, it's ridiculous. They're they're pests. They're very resilient. They're just disgusting. It, oh man, it, it was a uh, oh, man. It went, and after he told me that, I was like, all right, what the fuck? So first thing I thought, you know, tell the landlord. Let the landlord know, hey, we got some motherfucking bugs. So what happened is a uh, you know certain time after i can't really remember told my landlord he was like are you kidding he 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 was shocked he was like are you serious no way it was like he was trying to avoid it like he was trying to avoid that from happening because he was like i really don't want this to get everywhere because this is getting to that point like that's the impression that he gave me and he told me about how an apartment uh had it because you know i live in a multi apartment complex whatever you want to call it uh, three-decker complex and uh he was like the a couple apartments above you had had him and and he was like uh we had the exterminators come and all that and um you know i was thinking i'm like okay so they're moving because that's what they do if you uh if you hit one area with fog or and other pesticides to kill them and they're dying they go to a different area they inhabit a different area that's just how they work and um because, you know, they're just these smart, annoying-ass fucking bugs. That's just what they do, right? So, told him that, and he was like, all right, I'm going to get a technician out here so he can test to see if you really have them, and then after that, we'll get the exterminator. Now, like, this, this is, like, the more sped-up part, right, of the story, or kind of sped-up part, like, of the really important events, but, like... As, think of this, think of this, like, before I even told my landlord, I was doing a bunch of shit to, per, like, to not get bit or to have them not come out. Like, one of the things, they come out at night, so I was like, okay, let me keep the lamp, I have a lamp, and let me keep, like, lights on so that they'll never know that it's nighttime because it's always bright. They don't like light, that's one of the things. And also, let me sleep fully clothed, you know, they could bite through clothes, that's what I was reading online. But at the same time, um, <laughs> here's what I did. Like, I, I slept with, like, sweatpants and a long sleeve and socks. I know. You're probably throwing up. You're like, holy shit. Who, who is this alien? Why does he sleep with socks? And and I had to do that so my feet wouldn't get bit. And, um, and, and it kind of worked, actually. I think it actually worked. Because, oh, yeah, I also tuck in my shirt. 
because I didn't, you know, I just wanted to, you know, sleep tight. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted there to be no real, no, not too many, like, exposed parts. I didn't want any part of my body to be exposed, you know. I didn't want my shirt to go up in my sleep or some bullshit like that. Or, or have my legs or ankles exposed. I was just straight lockdown mode, not trying to get bit. Um, and also, I had this flea and tick, this flea and tick spray for your home. Which, obviously, they're not fleas or ticks. But they just kill fleas and ticks on contact and shit like that so i was like all right maybe this will work and it, it's a natural made uh spray and it also has this thing called clove and peppermint in it and turns out i was reading bed bugs can actually die from clove or and peppermint uh ingredients so i was like okay well that sounds dope let me just spray this like every night up until the you know the exterminator comes so i i would do that i would spray around my bed you know to just keep them fucking away from me because i'm pissed like what the fuck and um i mean i, I it might have worked and it might it, it might have worked might have not now the good thing about that is that i i went for like a week and a half straight without really getting bit like i didn't have any bites on me which and and i was like okay well maybe this shit is working so i was really really hyped and um or not even hyped but yeah like like think think of my mindset my mindset was holy shit i'm paranoid as fuck because bugs are crawling on me in my sleep like they wait till i sleep and they bite me and ah uh, man it was just so bad the first couple of nights i couldn't really sleep because i'm like damn what the fuck if i sleep i'm gonna get fucking bit by these fucking bugs like it just disgusted me you know and i really didn't want to like sleep in my own bed i didn't feel like my home was my home you know because I couldn't just do what I want. Because you know me, man. I'm going to tell you all right now. If you don't sleep in your damn boxers, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm just kidding. But that's what I do. I, I'm i free as hell. I'll be sleeping in my damn boxers every night. Like, every night. Obviously, not not too much in winter. Well, a good, actually a good amount in winter because I have the hottest room in the house. Which is a good thing and a bad thing. Because summer gets fucking god awful and terrible. Because, you know, if it's hot outside, then holy shit, it's going to burn in my damn room. And if it's cold outside, it's not going to be as cold in here. Because, you know, it's the hottest room. So, you know, I got that. I guess I'm lucky with that. So, yeah, think of that. I went for like a month straight. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you. So, the, the tech guy, he came. He came to the house. And he instantly, I showed him the bites. He was like, oh, yep, you got bed bugs. And he didn't yet, he did check my bed, check my father's bed too. He's know I live with my dad. And um, he just, he was like, oh, without a doubt, you have them. So, you know, he said, okay, I'll get you on the schedule. And my dumb ass, I woke up at like 8 in the morning because that's when he was around the time where he came. And uh, my dumb ass didn't even ask him, okay, so when are you guys coming? Yeah. Fast forward like a month of me sleeping with fully clothed, lights on, spraying that spray. He comes right my landlord tells me he'll be here thursday nine in the morning which was yesterday you know to exterminate the house he said okay you have to take out all your loose clothing wash all of that anything that's not found in the dresser and just laying around wash all of that because they could be on that and and leave your house unoccupied from nine o'clock or until they come which was like 10 o'clock for at least four hours and i'm like holy shit and you have to take your pets too so i was like what the fuck so i did all that woke up at seven stood my beds up against the wall that's what you're supposed to do took every part of loose every loose every loose clothing washed all that shit and i just waited outside of my house not not too long obviously well I, I didn't really have anywhere to go i was with my dad's friend at the time and, you know, washing clothes took up most of the time. And I waited like an hour and a half outside my house because after that, you know, he had to go to work. And I was like, all right, let me just chill here. And because like, I didn't know where to go. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I could chill out here. You know, play this. That play. You obviously, I talk about it a lot. This mobile game, Bleach Brave Souls. Like, I'm just, I bring it up because literally, I'm not kidding. I play that game so much. So I just sat out in my hallway of the apartment using the wall charger and all that just playing and until you know they were done exterminating came back well they already were done i was just waiting for the house to air out because they fogged it and um, i don't even know what's in that fog but yeah when they fogged it like i came back in and it was done 
but like there was a little bit of fog left and it just looked like somebody hotboxed <laughs> the entire house it was funny or only in my room so you know opened up all the windows let all that smoke out and bam here we are today playing uh, that's what let me tell you that was one of my biggest stresses of like 2016 or probably my life too it was just so bad uh, I was all fucked up. I don't know. Hopefully they're gone. I, I've just, I slept with normally, you know what I'm saying? Lights off and everything. Got no bites. Hopefully they're gone, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, if you enjoyed this story, you want to show some love, please leave a like for my troubles. And uh, yeah, there'll be a, another video going up. So don't think it's just a commentary today. That's, you know, part of why I haven't been posting. So yeah, there'll be another video up soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you really fuck with me, subscribe so you become part of the task force. This has been your man with a plane. These task game. Peace out, my duty. And I'm out. Thank you so much for watching.